Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this is the One X Player Mini Pro. So this is basically a portable Windows gaming PC in a handheld console form factor like the Asus ROG Ally. Well, a lot of people like to call these things a console but make no mistake, it's basically just a Windows gaming laptop without a keyboard attached to it. So the advantages of that is that because it runs Windows instead of Linux like the Steam Deck, you're able to essentially just run anything you, you want without having to check whether it's Steam Deck verified or this does Proton, the Proton DB emulation works correctly on the game or not. You just install it and run it as long as the hardware supports it. But there's another problem where because it's a Windows PC, now, most while Windows itself understands how to use touch and and uh, touch controls and whatnot, the problem is that most game most apps on Windows cannot even fathom the idea that someone would run a a PC without a keyboard, and that goes doubly true for games. Because really, uh, the uh, the uh, most games uh, most games aren't going to think that someone would actually run a Windows PC without a keyboard, and the most of course the most obvious problem is in situations where you need to type in a name for your character or something. For example, let's say in Monster Hunter Rise, you just finish creating your character and the game pops up and says, "Hey." Let's enter a name for a character. And then you realize that there isn't any soft keyboard just built in like on a console. And you don't have a keyboard to enter your, your name. So let's see how to get past that hurdle of naming your characters on, on a keyboardless gaming device like the One X players, the AR Neos, the Asus ROG allies. Okay, so here we are in the Monster Hunter Rises uh, character creator. So we're just going to <clears throat> go and say we're going to confirm and it's going to ask us, please enter your name. And uh, okay, use a keyboard to type, which we obviously don't have a keyboard here. And unlike, unlike on the console, we don't have a soft keyboard as well because as I said, games just expect you to have a keyboard in the, on the Windows. So here's what you do. You will slide up from where your start menu is. So mine's in the middle, so I'll just slide up. And you see there will be a nut appears when you slide up. Okay, so Windows recognizes that there's a gesture that you're trying to pull up the start menu. So slide up once, show the snub, and then slide up again to bring up the start menu. Then, you could, because your taskbar is now visible, you can now navigate to the virtual keyboard button. So you just tap that and you bring up the virtual keyboard. Of course, we want to use it, the virtual keyboard in our game. So we're just going to tap back in the game itself. And they'll tell you that keyboard input is disabled. That's because we, we only dismissed the start menu with our tap previously. So we're just going to tap again into the game and you can see that when I type now, there's keyboard input going into the back. Of course, the other issue now is that you notice that, hey, uh, I can't really see what I'm typing. So you can either press this to undock the keyboard, or you can just use this keyboard layout button to change it to the small mode so that you can now have a movable keyboard to get out of your way. Okay, so what we can do is I can, I can now say keyboardless. Hey, enter doesn't and doesn't save. Again, this is because in this case, this is because this is this is the game. So the game doesn't seem to accept enter as an input. So what you do is. We just press A. And there you go. We can have now finished 
the character entry screen in Monster Hunter Rise on a keyboardless Windows gaming PC. So sometimes you you might have some problems uh, flicking up from the start menu. What you can do is you can also flick up from the right side to bring up the notification panel. In whatever the case, the main thing that we are going for is we want to click and bring up the click and bring up the taskbar so that we can press the touch keyboard. And then always remember you have to give focus back to the game so that so that you actually be able to accept the keyboard input. So if I pick up here, but if I don't focus on game, we can't get the input going. Okay, so that was how to enter your character name in a game on your Windows gaming PC that doesn't have a keyboard. Okay, was it clunky? Yes, but at least you will be able to actually name your character and actually start playing a game so it I hope it helps now there are a few things to remember to know about this solution though number one is that because the virtual keyboard is a windows overlay if your game fully takes over the screen and doesn't allow any UI element windows UI elements to be drawn over it then you're pretty much out of luck now in Windows 11, I think it also happens in Windows 10, they have this thing called full screen optimizations which allows, which allows a game even though it's running in exclusive full screen mode for Windows to draw the UI over it. But this doesn't always work and it doesn't work with all games. So while this helps, this is really, in certain situations you really still need to have a physical keyboard, probably a Bluetooth one. Is it ideal? No, it isn't ideal. Now, the other, the other problem here is that, as I was mentioning just now, if your game is running in exclusive full screen mode, there might be some problems. So personally, my recommendation and what I always do is I run most of my games in borderless full screen mode and you will have no problems with trying to bring up the virtual keyboard. If you know like your game doesn't need any name entry or anything, keyboard entry often, yeah, just run it in exclusive full screen mode if that is, if that is what, how you feel. Um, supposedly, there isn't that much difference in performance now. You get to squeeze a little bit more performance based on what people are testing, but uh, if you have any problems bringing up the keyboard in your in your game, yeah, do take a look and see whether it's running in exclusive full screen mode or borderless full screen. Cause running in borderless full screen and obviously running it in window mode will definitely allow you to bring up the keyboard. So uh, this is Marauders. That was how to enter your name in a, on a keyboardless Windows gaming laptop. And I hope that helped you. And yes, it's not the ideal situation. The ideal scenario is always to have a portable Windows gaming PC with a keyboard. Okay, I'll see you all around.